Welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green with your host who can boast that he has the most ghost toast, Red Skittle 1000. Seriously, you want to watch out for that ghostly toast. It's hauntingly delicious. Anyway, last time we made it here to the entrance to Rock Tunnel, a detour to Lavender Town because those guards are friggin' thirsty. They won't let us through because they're thirsty. You know, it only takes a few minutes to get a glass of water. Meh. Friggin' guards. Anyway, we're gonna go inside. Yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> My camera's just like, I don't like this. Like, fine. I'll brighten it up a little for you. If I can go into the right menu. And I forgot to teach Flash to Meowth like a silly person. I was going to do that, but I didn't. Because I'm a silly person. But yes, Meowth can learn Flash. I don't think he can learn Flash in Gen 1, but it can in Gen 3. So, yay. Doesn't really matter what we overwrite. So we'll just get rid of Growl, I guess. Why not? I don't know, he might be useful for catching Pokemon later. Because there are other rewards you get for catching certain amounts of Pokemon that I'd like to pick up. If not to use, then at least to show them off. So yeah. Now let's go into Pokemon and use Flash. Flash. There we go. That's better, ain't it? Yeah, in Generation 1, uh, there's nothing over here. Oh no, there is something over here. But there's also encounters. I'll quickly explain. In Generation 1, um, if you didn't use Flash, the cave was completely black. Like, you could not see where you were going. It was just like, where the fuck am I going? So, yeah. You could still make it through, but unless you knew the cave really well, it'd probably be a bit difficult. Speaking of repels, I'd better use one. There. Yeah. I only have ten. Hopefully that's enough to get me through. Pokemon fight. Ready? Go. Anyway, I want to briefly talk about a couple of new Pokemon you can find here. Uh, one, actually I think we might have seen both these Pokemon before, but this is the first time you're actually able to catch one for yourself. The first one is Onyx. We saw Brock had one, we've seen a couple of hikers have one, but this is the first chance you get to catch one here in Rock Tunnel. Onyx is a rock ground type. Uh, it doesn't evolve from anything. In Generation 2 it got an evolution, Steelix, but for now, at least because it's a Gen 1 remake, you're on your own with just Onyx. Uh, but it's quite a good defensive Pokemon and has some good, fi decent physical attack to back it up. Uh, not very good on the special side, but then again, most rock types aren't really. But either way, you know, this is where you can pick up an Onyx, so if you so desire, here you go. I always like to have, I always like to have a ground type. Ground types are pretty good. Uh, the other new Pokemon you can find here is Machop. Machop is a fighting type, evolves into Machoke at level 28, that evolves into Machamp when traded. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. Bitch, please, I got to draw illustrations of Pokemon for my art folio when I did year 12 art. <laughs> yeah, I got to draw Pokemon for school purposes. Oh, yeah. But seriously. But back to Machop. Uh, if you're looking for a good physical fighting type, you don't know, have one already, uh... Yeah, that, that's a, definitely a good option, especially if you can somehow trade to get Machamp. Machamp's very strong. You know, if not, you, there's always, you know, Primeape's an option. There's a couple of fighting types later on that we'll be, I'll be showing off that you can grab, but, you know, there's always the option of Machop if you would like it. Even as a Machoke, it's, can, it's still pretty decent. Uh, press buttons! Why can't I press buttons? I can press them just really loudly. Yeah, she doesn't often come in here, but she'll, she'll battle us. Pretty nice. I love saying that. I have so. Ooh, not quite a good matchup. Good news is, it can't poison me. Bad news is, it can do that. I saw that coming from a mile away. If only this was Generation 6, that kind of shit wouldn't work on me. Ah, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ouch. Alright. Very, very nice. Uh, dude, I gotta get back on saying that. It loses its comic validity if you say it too much. It may be low tech, but I still maintain the Wolf Cushion has comic validity. 
Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, we have Wing Attack now. Awesome! Yeah, it's so scary these grass types like they were nothing more than... Well, grass. Anyway. Oh, I lost! Well, let's get rid of that paralysis, shall we? Uh, paralysis seals. I have some, right? Yes, I do. For you! Oh, three steps closer to the screen. That means Ivy is quite happy. <sighs> Hello, sir! Um, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? Huh? What? What the? Okay. But I want to know, what kind of creepy weirdo talks about Pokemon cosplay to a young girl in a cave? I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but... Neither way. I could insert that. I could insert the, I could insert the clip, but I could probably get into some serious trouble from the guy who originally uploaded that. I could insert a clip of me doing it, but <laughs> I don't know how well that would work out. Either way, let's uh, see who's the best fit for this situation. Uh, let's go for the slash. Critical hit. Oh, Mr. Fancy. Mr. Fancy with your critical hits. I'll show you, buddy. Got much to say now, do you? Oh, a Cubone! Looky here, Mr. Fancy. So, what's the big news lately? Well, there's been some big news in Pokemon. Big, big, big news. This is big news, baby. You know it's big news when I stress that it's big news. When was the last time I stressed that there was news this big? Probably about Big Smash Bros. news, but this isn't Big Smash Bros. news, this is Big Pokemon news. Because you may have heard, hopefully you've heard, you should know, hopefully you do know, it's finally happening. Yes, fans have been watching it for years, they've been chanting, they've been screaming, they've been angrily posting on Twitter and Facebook for it. And now, their wishes are finally going to be fulfilled. Finally. It's coming. It's gonna happen. Gen 3 Remakes! Oh yeah. You can bet your ass I'm excited. I didn't enjoy the Gen 3 games. They were quite good. So yes. Gen 3 Remakes, ooh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Hello, Mr. Hiker. Hit me with your best shot. That sounds familiar. Where have I heard that line before? You know, one time I was at the circus and I watched a strong man bend a car. Bend a car? Pat Benatar! Yes! You're not the only master of segways! Yes, he was referencing that song by Pat Benatar. Hit me with your best shot. Even I've heard it! Which shows something, because... Yeah. I'm a bit out of the loop most of the time. You know, I don't hear the latest gossip. It's like someone comes up to me, Oh, did you know so-and-so broke up? And I'm just like, I didn't even know they were dating! <laughs> oh, well. And yes, he finishes by saying, fired away. <laughs> I'll raise my Pokemon to beat yours, kid. I doubt that was in Pat, Pat Benatar's song. If it was, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, here we go. Uh, how are you doing, sir? This tunnel goes a long way, kid. Think I don't know that? I've been through this tunnel plenty of times. Lenny? Are you going to see Hiker Carl somewhere? That'd be kind of cool. Kind of a cool little homage to a very popular cartoon. Oh well. Yes. 
Ruby Sapphire remakes. I know I'm excited. Are you? You'd better be, because this is big news, people. But, oh, the thing is, which one am I going to get? Like, I got to pre order one of them, but. Which one? Which one? Like, I don't know which one. I'm, I don't know. It's just like. Ah. Like, with X and Y, I'm just like, okay, when we have Xerneas, and when we have Evil Tall. Eh, Evil Tall looks cooler. I'll go for that one. With Black 2 and White 2, it was like, well, I got Pokemon White, so I'll pre-order Black 2. So it'd be a little opposite. Turns out both of them had Zekrom. But, hey, I was okay with that. Can't go wrong with a good old Zekrom. Anyway. I'm saying anyway a lot again. Furthermore, but the thing is, you know, what do I do with, uh, no Kyogre and Groudon? I mean, they're both cool, obviously, but ah, which one do I go for? I don't know, I actually have a Sapphire cart, so I might go Omega Ruby. But I don't know. I might wait a little while, see if there's a, I don't know, some slight difference between the two games that'll help me choose. Maybe I'm lost in here. Huh. On some less exciting but still Pokemon related news, there's a little game there's a little uh thing called Pokemon Art Academy. It's apparently it's going to be a 3DS game that's releasing in July. And it's actually coming here to Australia! Woohoo! You know how Australia gets gypped with certain video games. Kirby Stream Collection! Anyway. So yes, I'm, thankfully it's actually coming to Australia. And like I said, I, I was drawing Pokemon for a year, so I, li I like to draw Pokemon. I'm not anything special. I mean, you look at some of the fan art on the internet, and it's just like, holy shit, how do you do that? That's like, whoa! Dang, son! And then you look at my drawings, and it's just like, well, oh, that's cool. <laughs> but hey, be cool to have like an actual, you know, game that could draw Pokemon, post it on Meverse, and be like, hey! I have competent skill in something! I think I saw that drawing somewhere else. No, you didn't! No, you didn't! I better be careful or I'm gonna run out of razor leaves. This guy's a bit confused. Just don't hurt yourself in the confusion, buddy. Uh, now we have an item. We found one escape rope. Outsider's like, you need to show me some respect. By outsiders. What, do you live in here? Ooh, look. Mr. Big Fancy Guy. Ooh, I, you outsiders. Oh, jeez, I really am nearly out of razor leaves. I better be careful. If I run out of razor leaves, that could be a big problem. I think there was like a hidden ether on Route 25 I could have gotten. <laughs> Probably would have benefited me to pick it up. But, you know, I'll get by one way or another. Ha ha. I give! You give what? You give me prize money? Yes, you do. Uh, there's nothing up here. No, there isn't. I didn't think so. There's nothing down here? No, I didn't think so. Uh... You look like you'll have Pokemon that Pidgeotto will do well in taking out. Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the hands? You can bang twigs as trail markers. <laughs> what are you doing? Leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. You know, so we can find our way back. Kale, we're going upstairs. The way back is called downstairs. What is all this junk? A cactus? A bowling pin? A hair dryer? A cell phone? And we got keep charmed. Thank you! Pitchy. Come on, Pidgeotto. It's just a Pidgey. You can take it out. 
Surely. Maybe I should use the wing attack. Don't know why I didn't. Either way. We did it. Oh, that Pidgeotto gained another level. Jumping rope makes your brain vibrate. Which I enjoy. <laughs> he, the thing with that reference, the thing with that quote is, you either know it and want to slap me for quoting that show, or you don't know it and are like, what the hell is he quoting? <laughs> we got 420 Poké Dollars. 420, 420, 420 plays it. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. If, uh, down here, actually. We want to go down here. Hello, mister. When you're up on a rocky mountain like this, rock slides are a threat. Can you imagine? Ball is something down on you. They'd be like, wow, total terror. You don't seem to be scared. Want to try using rock slide? Sure. And so, like, the sand slash can learn rock slide. And I'm actually going to teach rock slide to sand slash. Right. Because it can be good to have a rock move, you know? I'm a goofy goober rock! Yeah, you get the point. Uh, what should we get rid of? Ah, poison thing ain't gonna come in handy anytime soon. Sense Lone Rock Slide? Might be scary to use it in this tunnel. Good point. You know? Bad ideas, they happen. And hey, another item. This is a Max Ether! Ooh, that's, that, that could help if we run out of uh, Razor Leaves. I usually like to save my Ethers, but then I end up not using them. And then, uh, maybe we should have switched out Pidgeotto. Unless this guy has him a job. Wait, he doesn't. Son of a bitch. Uh, we want Pokemon. We want Sandslash. You guys probably want me to start talking again. Okay. So, conversations. Yeah. I know. I was never very good at conversation, you know. It's like, uh, yes? Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, conversation. Not my thing. But I, when necessary, I can converse. And I converse well. When necessary, of course. Magnitude, magnitude 7. Oh shit, that can still hit me! He caught onto my tricks. Fuck you, dude. But thankfully that didn't do crap, because my sand slash is good defense. We only got three Pokemon at the moment, so they're getting pretty high level. Which is good. I enjoy this. Oh well. We're about to get, like... Two more, our next two team members probably be somewhat back to back, so. Yeah, in that retrospect. We'll have that. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. <laughs> Plan out your sentences. I should do that. You know what else I planned out? This. planned it out, I mean, I planned it out to happen in the cave. At least I had a feeling it would happen in the cave. Alright, I didn't plan it at all. Ah. Hey, buddy. You want one, too? Huh. Okie dokie. Yeah, because they're all the rage these days. Huh. What else is all the rage these days? I don't know. What's, what's popular? I don't know. I don't keep up with the popular trends. Keep up with the things I like. Like Big Bang Theory. Oh, the latest Big Bang Theory episode that aired in America. Oh my god. I'm not going to say what happened because I don't want to spoil anything, but oh, 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 that was, whoa. Like, I, oh, I did not see that coming. Like, I guess maybe some people did, but damn, I did not see that coming. Wow. 
We're going to see a season finale this week in America. Don't know. It'll probably have aired by the time this goes up, but... Yeah, and I'll have watched it. Thank you, interwebs! So I don't have to wait for it bringing Australian TV. You know, you, you, know, you broadcast other shows like minutes after they air in the U.S. What about Big Bang Theory, huh? Why did Big Bang Theory get gypped? Was one of the best damn shows on TV. <sighs> you know, sometimes just no respect. No respect. No respect. Oh well. Oh, and we were fighting Pokemon yet Cooper. Oh, how appropriate. <laughs> uh, we actually got four trainers in a row here, so one. I think it's four. Might be three. Eek! Don't try anything funny in the dark. Dude, what kind of creepy weirdo would do that? Okay. Yeah, I, I probably won't. I, pro I mean, I could insert the clip, but like I said, copyright problems. <laughs> the original uploader might be like, Hey! You can't use that. Russell Howard got away with it, but you can't. And I'd be like, aww. And of course, my tends to do the smile, just... I try, but I just, I can't get it the way that the guy does in the video. It's just like, ugh, I, I can't get it. Minimize! You don't look any smaller. I know in Generation 1 it actually altered your sprite so that you were smaller. You were like a little itty bitty thing. But not here. Oh no. Pidgeotto's level 31, although I believe it evolves at level 36, so we got a little while to go for it. Pidgeotto. No problem. Pidgeotto's a beast no matter what level it's at. Oh, there's only two here. I am smart, aren't I? Yeah, I remember my things well. I swear, it was like one, two, three, four. Perhaps that's a different dungeon. I'm getting dungeon confused. Of course, with certain video game characters, I sometimes get gender confused. It's like, you're a guy! You're a girl! What is this madness? Ah. I don't know, it just happens sometimes. I get, I get confused and like mislabel the genders and characters. It even happens in anime sometimes. I'm just like, oh, you're, you're, a, you're, you're a guy? What? Now you tell me. I don't know. Pidgeotto is just taking out these grass types and these normal types like they were nothing. And we take care of these best part. Okay, okay. There goes Ariana. And I believe there's one more trainer in here. And an item. Pearl! Mr. Krabs, we found your daughter! I forgot I didn't have a rappel up. There's a Machop. Eh, we don't have much to go, but I better put on a rappel. Knowing me, if I don't, I'm gonna regret it. You. I came this fight looking for a wild Pokemon. Yeah, but from which entrance? Because one entrance is right there. The other entrance is about 24 minutes back. At least if you stop and smell the trainers. Which is kind of creepy. Just battle them. Don't smell them. Gonna bring in Sandflash, but no. Apparently that's not a good idea. Especially not against an Oddish! Oddish! Yay, Oddish! It's like a little ball of plant happy. Well, let's bring in Sandslash. Well, then again... Oh, Sandslash can take it. Sandslash can tank any hit this little Pidgey has to offer. Please. Besides, now that I have this... Very nice. Rock slide. It comes in handy. And 
and there's nothing over here. That's an inventory. Maybe there's a hidden item. I don't know. Sign. Rock tunnel. So we're city to Lavender Town. And we're out. We're out. We're finally out. Feeling a bit faint. I haven't hiked in some time. More trainers. Yeah, the trainers ain't over yet, though. In Generation 1, near the exit to Rock Tunnel, at least this side exit, there was actually a girl who'd say, The Pokemon here are so chunky. There should be a pink one with a floral pattern. And then comes around Generation 5, where they have a pink Pokemon with a floral pattern. Whether it was actually based on that girl's comments, or whether it's just pure coincidence, I don't know, but hey, it'd be pretty cool if, if you know, they paid homage to that little Generation 1 tidbit and actually made Muna based on that comment. Yeah, there's a problem with Rock Slide. Uh, it's 75 base power, but 90% accuracy. There's that 90% accuracy coming to hit me in the ass. There we go. Can't believe it took me th three tries to hit that. Oh well, at least Santa Slash has kick-ass defense. There goes Peter Carroll. She wasn't up for it. That guy looks like he's a hiker. Let's show off Venusaur! Let's bring Venusaur into the fray! Ha! 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 Well, I haven't seen him laugh this hard since Leonard made that multiplication error. <laughs> A multiplication error! He thought he carried the one, but he did it. It's not funny. That mistake was published. Stop! I'm gonna wet myself! <laughs> he doesn't look happy, so I'm guessing he wants to talk to Sheldon. Dr. Cooper! Told you. So, here we see Venusaur tearing things apart with his Venusauriness. Yes, we're almost at Lavender Town, which is actually where the name Raider is, so... Yeah. Which means, uh... Nicknames are gonna happen. <laughs> Not laughing. <laughs> hey, Fever. <laughs> yeah, but I, I haven't gotten a single suggestion for nicknames. Which is unfortunate. I really wanted to use, you know, suggested nicknames, but nobody suggested any. Which is a bummer. Oh well. I guess that's how it goes. I have to think up some nicknames myself then. Ah, oh, this mountain air is delicious. What, you eat air? Who are you, Wendy? You know? That, you know, the Dragon Slayer from Cage Shelter? I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. It's one thing I always found ironic. You know, like I'm watching Fairy Tale, and I find it ironic that dragon slayers are taught magic that was used to slay dragons by dragons. So, the dragons are teaching them magic in order to. No, 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 no. The dragons are teaching them magic that was used to slay dragons. Anyone else find that a bit weird? Like, it makes sense that they'd know it, but why would they teach people magic that could eventually be used to slay them? I don't know, it's doesn't really make much sense, but hey, it's Japan, don't think, just enjoy. That's I probably shouldn't have said that. So a bunch of Japanese people are probably gonna get mad at me. Oh well. This is the internet. Hey kid, wanna see my Pokemon? What kind of creepy Okay no. But still, that, that can totally work. Wanna see hey kid, wanna see my Pokemon? In the Pokemon world, totally okay. In the real world, you'd probably get arrested. Slowpoke, okay. We'll finish off this slowpoke and then we'll be at our next destination. Oh, there's that 95% accuracy kicking my ass again. Thank you. I only had like a couple of razor leaves left. But in the end, it was just enough. We got through. Oh no! I might want to put Sand Slash in front for a while. We'll see. 
Anyway, here we go. Yep, the infamous Lavender Town music. Not as headache inducing as Generation 1, apparently, but still creepy all the same. So now that we've arrived in this creepy, creepy town, I'm going to end the episode here. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, we're going to explore Lavender Town and see just what it has to offer. Will it provide happiness, sadness, fear, bran muffins? Only time will tell. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mwahaha. <laughs>